Welcome back to Us Versus Life. I have a question for you. Have you ever stared into your overflowing closet, overwhelmed by a sea of clothes you never wear? Or perhaps you find comfort in a meticulously organized space where every item has a designated place. This internal battle to accumulate or to declutter reflects a deeper philosophical debate, minimalism versus maximalism. Tonight, we delve into the exciting world of these opposing forces, exploring how they shape our experiences, our happiness, and ultimately, our lives. Minimalism is a philosophy that champions living with less. Minimalists prioritize experiences over possessions, aiming to declutter their physical and mental landscapes. Proponents like Fumio Sasaki, author of the best-selling book, Goodbye Things, argue that letting go of material clutter liberates the mind. Studies by the University of California, Irvine, even suggest that physical clutter can lead to increased stress and decreased focus. Take Sarah, for example. A graphic designer with a passion for travel, Sarah embraced minimalism to free up time and finances for adventure. Getting rid of things I didn't use or love allowed me to save for that dream trip to Iceland, she shares. Now I come back from my travels with memories, not souvenirs. Minimalism fosters a sense of freedom and flexibility, allowing individuals to pursue experiences that enrich their lives. But minimalism isn't for everyone. Maximalists, on the other hand, find joy in surrounding themselves with meaningful objects. Their spaces are a visual tapestry of their passions and experiences. Psychologist Dr. Tracy Duran Magana argues that maximalist environments can spark creativity and self-expression. For some, she explains, a curated collection of objects acts as a constant source of inspiration and brings them joy. Take David, a musician whose apartment overflows with instruments, vintage records, and concert posters. Each object here tells a story, he says, strumming his guitar. This isn't clutter, it's my personal museum. Maximalism allows individuals to surround themselves with objects that spark joy and inspire them. It's a celebration of personality and a testament to a life richly lived. But the debate extends beyond aesthetics. Minimalism often promotes a buy less, buy better philosophy, encouraging sustainable consumption and reducing environmental impact. Maximalists, however, can find joy in the thrill of the hunt, scouring thrift stores and vintage markets for unique treasures, giving pre-loved items a second life. Ultimately, both approaches can encourage mindful consumption. Minimalists focus on quality over quantity, while maximalists find value in pre-loved goods. The key lies in intentionality, choosing possessions that align with your values and experiences. So, which philosophy reigns supreme? The truth is there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Minimalism and maximalism are not rigid categories, but rather spectrums. You might be a minimalist when it comes to clothing, but a maximalist when it comes to books. The key is to find the balance that sparks joy, reduces stress, and allows you to live a life rich with experiences that matter to you. Here's the key idea. Minimalism and maximalism are spectrums, not absolutes. You can be minimalist in some areas of your life, like clothing, and maximalist in others, like hobbies. The true value lies in intentionality. Choose possessions and experiences that align with your values and bring you joy not just accumulate or declutter for the sake of it. Both approaches can be sustainable. Minimalism encourages responsible consumption, while maximalism promotes giving pre-loved items a second life. We want to hear from you. Are you a minimalist who craves new experiences or a maximalist who finds comfort in a curated collection? Share your thoughts in the comments below and tell us what sparks joy in your life. Minimalism or maximalism?